everybody. Uh, I'd just like to say this to you, that um, in this session and seeing, uh, and just let me see how, how, how long it takes for me to get through this, it would be very good for you to be opening up your Bible and looking for yourself as I'm reading at Nehemiah chapter 4. And I'm going to start immediately. We're talking about building. We're talking about the church in a time of war. We're talking about God said, have a look at what happened in the day of Nehemiah, how the enemy came, came against the building that I was doing and he was doing with the people, with me, um, uh, uh, the, the spiritual activity that was going on and come and see how the enemy, principalities and powers, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in heavenly places come against us to delay, to distract, to divide, to destruct actually. And... Um, to steal, kill and destroy, to see if he can. So here's a bu people building now with Nehemiah, verse one. It came to pass that when Sanballat, or we can say when the devil, when the enemy heard that we builded the wall, he was wroth. Now there's a scripture in Revelation that says, Satan has great wrath and he has come down for he knows that his time is short. So here is an enemy of the people of God, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spoke before his brethren. What do these feeble, what do these feeble Jews? Will they fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish which are burned? And that is exactly how the enemy taunts you and me. What do you think you're doing corporately here? Are you, are you thinking you're going to be, you be, you be doing something powerful here for God? Now Tobiah, the Ammonite, by him, here's another enemy. And he said, even that which they build, if a fox go up, he shall even break down the stone wall. So here's intimidation. Here's lies coming. Here's threatening coming. It's actually what the Lord showed me about all of this in Nehemiah is that it's a conspiracy, right? Here, oh, uh, uh, here, oh our God, here's Nehemiah's response. For we are despised and turn their reproach upon their own head and give them for a prey in the land of captivity. Cover not their iniquity, let not their sin be blotted out from before thee, for they have provoked you to anger before the builders. So we built the wall and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. Can you see there how they continued? See their continuum. They had a resolve. They had a heart and a mind to build and to not allow the enemy to come, to distract, to divide, to destruct, to delay. Glory to God. So we built the wall. All the wall was joined together, verse 6, unto the half thereof, for the people had a mind to work. But, verse 7, here comes the enemy again. It came to pass when Sanballat and Tobiah and the Ara Arabians and the Ammonites and the Ashdodites heard that the walls of Jerusalem were made up, that the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is making progress and that the breaches began to be stopped. Then they were very wroth. So here's the enemy recognizing there's nothing he can do to stop this mighty moving force of the blood bought church of the Lord Jesus Christ. And now there's a very wrath. There was a wrath at first and now it's very wrath and conspired. Here's the conspiracy. We have a scripture in the New Testament that Paul, the apostle Paul says, we, not, we are not ignorant of Satan's wiles, his tricks, his stratagems, his conspiracies. So they, and the enemy conspired all of them together to come and to fight against, I'm going to put there the church, and to hinder it. Verse 9, nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. Nevertheless, we made our prayer unto our God and set a watch against them day and night because of them. So there, they could not stop. They could not stop the prayers. Glory to God. We are a house of prayer and it would be so beneficial for you if you, if for you to actually join our prayer connect on a Tuesday night so that you can learn to how to have a continuum in your own prayer life. Don't let go of your own prayer life. 
And Judah said, the strength of the burden, bearers of burdens is decayed and there's much rubbish, so we're not able to build the wall. And our adversary said, they shall not know. Listen, this is, this is just Satan who's a liar. Jesus says he's a murderer from the beginning. They shall not know, neither see, till we come in the midst among them and kill them and cause the work to cease. I'm going to pick up from there tomorrow. It would be excellent for you to familiarize yourself with this chapter because that is what the Lord said. See Nehemiah's resolve and the people that were building with them. See their resolve and see their continuum and how as they continued, I can continue. And they completed what I had called them to do in their time and in their generation. Praise the Lord. See you next time.